Let's do another loop, y'all. How's it going, by the way, chat? How you guys doing? I'm looking at the time now. I can't believe it's already 8.30. Holy butts. Hope you guys are doing all right, hanging in there out there. Uh, oh, by the way, I started with the uh, items. I need to equip them. Okay, so we've got ourselves sword. We got a good shield off the bat. And some armor. Did you receive the blacksmith card? Um, I did not. I mean, I, I built the smelter, but I didn't receive a blacksmith card. Okay. So I'm not going to place anything yet. Actually, I will place a grove. Let's go ahead and place a grove. Oh, cool. And we just got ourselves a uh, blood grove card as well. So I can place that. And, you know, I'll place the battlefield as well. Um, right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got a uh, ring, by the way. We got damage to all or a counter. You know, I'm going to do counter attack. And we've got a lantern. Let's place the lantern down here. And you know what? I'm going to do another grove. Because when we pass through the grove, we do get wood, which is nice. So let's just keep that going. And the grove, honestly, isn't that difficult. The enemies that spawn in the grove... I feel pretty comfortable fighting. It's not that big a deal. Ooh, let's get that chest. Alright, um... Better shield. Better weapon. And I need to start placing some meadow cards. So let's do that. Meadow, meadow, meadow. Meadow. Okay. Wanted to place him before I lost him. Vampire Mansion, I can place you too. Another grove. I don't want to keep linking the grove necessarily, but you know I'm going to. A big old grove. I could be asking for trouble here, having back-to-back -back, uh, rat wolf fights. I'm gathering that wood now. Getting some wood. Let's place a rock card there to place a meadow card there. And place a rock card here to place a meadow card here. Okay. Ooh, vampire ring. Nice. Uh, this shield, magic damage. No, I'll skip that shield. Okay. Um, place a rock there. Uh, there's that meadow card. Okay, so I'm going to place that meadow card there. Play for Libyan card there. Okay. Has anybody watched the Fall Guys Season 4 trailer yet? I have not. But I heard that it's going to be all, like, future, right? The theme this year. Or this season. I don't know. As much as I enjoyed uh, Fall Guys. Um, I gotta say. I was a little disappointed. That they hadn't fixed the. Um, like latency issues. That the game kind of suffers from. You know. And I don't know if they've really addressed it. In the last month or so. But I do know the last time I played the game. There were still some pretty significant latency issues that caused an issue when it comes to competitive games like that, you know. Okay, treasury card.
Oh, another treasury card. Okay. Um, play you right there. That treasury card actually is might be placed. Actually, can I double dip treasuries? I. Hmm, we will find out in just a moment. got here better armor that's for sure um play that there so we've got evasion we've got vampirism and okay so vampirism right now is at 14 percent are you gonna play tomorrow night too i i won't be no big out to help you twitch um i don't know if you were here last week uh it was the first week that uh of our new schedule but price and i have swapped days so i do monday nights now and he's doing tuesday afternoon Surprised I haven't gotten a village card yet. I was just thinking, like, I haven't had any quests, but I haven't had any village cards. Where's my village cards? Um, put down another blood grove there. Oh, I had a village card. Never mind. It's right freaking there. Where am I going to put the village card? Right there. Right next to camp. And play you there. Regen and damage to all, huh? No, I'll keep my vampirism. For now, thank you. So I'm curious. Ooh, there's my, uh... Okay, so apparently the um, flesh golems, I thought that they spawned in the battlefields. They do not. They definitely spawn in the, uh, in the groves. Okay. Um, vampirism armor and new vampirism shield with regen. Higher vampirism, lower regen. I'll take that. And vampire armor as well. Take that. Okay, cool. Get myself more of like a full set of armor here. I wonder when I unlock arm like the uh, the helmets and and the necklaces and the rings and stuff. This game is very addictive. Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, I picked it up and then I was like, "Y'all have to play this." To stumped and then Price picked it up and he was like, "Oh my god, y'all have to play this." And then Ash picked it up and now I think the three of us are playing it and just pretty hooked on it at the moment. But like I said, I haven't played a lot over the last week. Kind of anticipation for the stream, because I wanted to experience some of this stuff with you guys, and I didn't want to get too far ahead in the game. Uh, okay, we can do something here. The hero leaves 10% of his findings in the camp when passing through. 10% um, chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for the golden cards. Uh, get a new set of three traits. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um... Choose a new trait. Every counterattack restores 1.5 loop HP. Deals you a full hand of Oblivion cards. From now on, using Oblivion cards heals the hero by 10% of their max HP. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, article of Protection. After receiving this effect and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of Phantom Protection that equals 65% of X. Whoa. All damage to it is dealt... Ignoring defense. Whoa. I'm going to try this article of protection. That sounds pretty cool because I'm about to pass this. So. Oh, so there's my phantom bar. Okay, cool. So basically, I get like another bar of protection. That is cool. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen that skill yet. That does seem like a super useful skill. Um, thank you to... Uh, Illo11 for that 60 month resub, and even Flow, thanks for gifting that sub to Pojambles. You guys dropped some bears. Thank you so much. Okay, we got ourselves a boss fight here. Um, should I get regen? I guess it really doesn't matter now. I have time to think, but. Ooh, regen or vampirism? I'll stick with the vampirism.
Okay, quest is done. And there goes my phantom bar. Okay, well that was nice, having that phantom bar. And so it restores 65% every time I pass the camp. Is that right? Um, protection the eagle 65% of its max. Uh, and after every loop. Yeah. Oh, cool. After every loop. Okay. It'll recharge. Great. Okay, new sword. Yes. Finally, a new sword. It's been a while since I got a new weapon. Wow. So maybe I should do a regen build now because I just got the regen sword. What regen? Yeah, if I do the regen shield there. Um, now let's keep our eyes on some regen armor. We've got another blood grove. I'm going to place that blood grove after this. Okay, blood grove. Did I? I just lost the blood grove. Of course I did. Um, lantern, let's place you here. With some HP regen, you're likely to just get full health while the phantom health tanks everything. Yeah, that's true. Like, if I go through the camp and get the phantom health and I'm at half HP, then I should theoretically be able to regen my health while the phantom bar tanks. That's true. That should synergize pretty well together, I would have to imagine. We will see. Um... But before I place you, let's place... Place you like that. Um, okay. What do we got? Uh, Counterattack? Okay. I'm waiting for that regen ring. Regen ring and armor is what we need. What do we got here? Attack speed. Counter, okay. Up, oh, we got another meadow. Uh, before I place the meadow, let's place a rock here. Meadow there, okay. And a road lantern here. This game has a lot of mechanic potential. I'm very interested now. Yeah, it's it's pretty complex, honestly. There's a lot of different combinations. And a lot to think about when you're uh, making your build, honestly. I'm about to use my or lose my phantom, and that's fine. Okay, more vamp. Oh, I did not mean to place that rock there. That's kind of annoying. Um, I guess that's where I'm building my mountain. Hi, just saying good night. Ooze dum dum. Oozy dum dum, excuse me. Have a good night. Okay, so we got another meadow. Complete that. Boom, boom. Ooh, and another freaking treasury card. Play you right there. And another road lantern. I will play you. Right here. Oh, a regen ring. Oh, and damage to all. Okay, I'm gonna play you. Because we want to boost our regen. Um, cool. So right now, regen is at 4.8. A poultry 4.8. Does the style of the item correspond to the stats? Um, pretty much, yes. Um, so, for example, like, you can tell the vampire, because it's kind of got, like, a bat look to it. This has a 
shield on it, so that's defense, you know? This is a vampire shield. That's what a vampire shield looks like. Okay, more meadows. Um, place rock here. Place meadows here. Um, okay. Okay, we got ourselves quest. We're about halfway. We're exactly halfway to unlocking our next uh, trait. Ooh, and we got an item. Come on, armor. No armor. Um, that does have regen, though. It has the same regen that we currently have, plus vampirism. Uh, no damage to all. I mean, not as... Yeah. Doesn't have the damage to all, but that's fine. Because 20% vampirism plus regen, that's pretty good. We're having the best of both worlds there. And there are, like, no enemies on this side of the board. I need to start placing more things, I guess. A grove or two up there or something. All right, so I think that we have all the wood that we need in order to build the... What was it that we were going to build the uh, next? Um, well, whatever it was, we've got the wood that we need. We need more supply rations. Or the food supplies. Got ourselves another flesh golem. He's actually hitting us pretty hard. Oof, good god, this flesh golem. He's not messing around. Slow, but powerful. There we go. Uh, what do we got? Vampirism, evasion, counter defense. Ooh. I don't want to sacrifice the regen that I have right now. That might be silly of me, though. I thought you need more metal. Yes, I do need more metal. Um, I've got three stable metal right now. So, food and metal. We have so many metal cards. I need to start playing some of these metal cards. Um, let's see. Play rock here, play meadow here. Uh, ooh, more meadow cards. Meadow, 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 meadow. Um, rock, meadow. Okay, we've got our goblin camp now. Rock, meadow. Evasion, huh? Hmm, okay. Yeah, better weapon would be good too. Better everything, honestly, at this point. We need we need better cards. Or better items. Uh evasion defense, no. Play the last metal there. What do we got? We have five metal right now, which is pretty good. Come on, chest. Give me good items. What do we got? Shield. Uh, evasion with pretty small amount of regen. Attack speed damage to all. Mm. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Take out this goblin boss, please. Thank you. All right. What's this? Uh, defense. All right. More meadows. Oh, boy. Okay, there's my stone in mountains. Okay, we're gonna build our mountain peak now. Which may or may not summon another goblin camp. Couldn't say. I'm not keeping track. Okay, 
another mountain. I mean, I'm doing all right. I'm staying on my own right now, so... I could probably get away with one more loop if I wanted to. Um, where are we going to place this one? Let's place this one. I want to place it around the goblin camp. Here we go. Let's place it there. Um, another vampire armor. Let's put that there. Okay. Yeah, right now the vampirism and regen balance seems to be working. And I'm about ready to pass my camp, which will give me that phantom armor again. And you know what? I'm probably going to level up here soon and get a new trait. Okay, another road lantern. I'm going to place you here. Um, you know what? I'm going to place another village here. Um, we got more rocks, 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 there we go, got my mountain peak, and, wait, this is evasion and regen, mm. do I get rid of my vampirism for 40% evasion, what's my evasion at right now, I don't have any, okay, we'll keep vampirism. Still waiting for that. There's several things that we need that are could be better. Um, I really need better weapon. Because I'm not doing enough damage right now. Like this mimic is going to completely tank my phantom armor. Oh, you know what? I can get a new... Battering Ram, the hero rushes into battle head-on. His first attack has a 70% chance to stun each enemy for one second. That's pretty good. Defense is increased by one after every loop. Um, deals you a full hand of Oblivion cards. Okay, I'm going to do Battering Ram. There we go. That stun is pretty nice. Especially because it works on all the enemies. Um, geez, at this point, I think that we should kind of go back to a Vampirism build. Um... Instead of a regen. Just because that's kind of the way all the cards are leaning at the moment. Um, okay. Oh, you're attacking the wrong one, Turkey! For so many different reasons! Oh, and is a ghost. Okay, great. Oh, God. Okay, good. Thank goodness there wasn't a second form to that ghost. I would have been real annoyed. Okay, we've got another treasury. Okay. We've got two treasuries. Holy crap. Um, oh, we had a... I built a treasury up there a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. I'm... Uh, not a very bright man. Um, That's fine. Okay, I'm going to wait to place these cards until we get a little bit closer. I really hope I don't die. If we're going to get close to dying, I'm just going to retreat. All right, Rick, I'm going to head off to bed. Pure Miko, have a great night. You guys, drop some on love for Pure Miko before she leaves. Thank you. Ooh, new weapon finally. Okay. Um, attack speed. It doesn't have regen, which 
troubling. But it does more damage. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, we just got to make it to the camp. We can do this. We're on loop number nine here. Um, Place not there, even though I probably won't make it back there. I have another road lantern I'll place here. Um, okay, keep going. The grove is actually looking pretty spooky. <laughs> I gotta be honest. That, that grove there, oh my god, there are so many enemies. Putting all those groves in a row, maybe not the best idea. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, um, let's start placing items here. Meadow, meadow, meadow. Meadow, meadow, okay. No, not that. Meadow. There we go. Um, okay. I think we got a good amount of items, and I think that we will make it home now. I Actually, unless anything, unless something like terribly catastrophic happens, we're definitely gonna make it back home. There we go. And I've got another metal card to play. So I'll just go ahead. Two metal cards, perfect. Um, they're there. And another metal card. What do we got? Vampirism, plus 20%. Ooh, hello, that's just a straight upgrade. Um, regen 3.6 per second, okay. Now they're throwing me some decent regen items. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's the silly part. Okay, I, I, I did this last time where I'm like, I could probably do one more loop and I could probably make it. Um, but I'm thinking I could probably do one more loop and I could probably make it. Oh God, what do you guys think? What do you think? Oh man. I mean, really, the only scary part is down here. But I, I honestly think that I can do that. I can get, I could take this goblin camp. I feel pretty comfortable doing that. I'm, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. That is three flesh golems, yes. That is three fleshy flesh golems. Um, oh God. There's no, you know what? If it looks like I'm gonna lose, I can retreat and save 60% of my stuff. And that is true, the boss was my downfall last time, that is true. Well, no, 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 no. I think I, even before the boss, didn't I uh, have a run where I just got my butt kicked? I guess it's all blurring together, but. Okay, we can start to swap over to a regen build now if we wanted to. Um, I think I've got some regen items. We'll consider this after uh, after this fight. So I've got this regen per second. Actually, no, both things that I had were regen were both rings, so. We'll stick with uh, Vampire for now. Thanks for rooting for me, Lemon Squares. Have you heard the expression, the past repeats itself? Not familiar with that one. What does it mean? I, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Ooh, we've got ourselves another treasury. Okay. Um... Thing is, I'm not gonna be able to use all these treasuries because I don't want to summon the boss. Well, I guess I could summon the boss and then just dip the heck out, right? Could do that. I 
As in, those who don't learn from history are doomed. I still don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what these things that you guys are talking about. Like, what, 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 what is this history you talk of? All right. No, no clue. These expressions. I don't know. Loss in translation. We're actually, we're doing all right so far. Knock on wood. This run has actually gone pretty swimmingly so far. Um, the current build that we have just seems to be working. Okay, flesh golems, let's see what you got. Bring it on! Okay, first flesh golem is down. Let's slow down. Okay, so we've got a regen item here. But our vampirism seems to be working so well for us right now. Um, this has way more defense, though. Uh, do I still have that um, regen ring? I do. Okay, I'm going to do a silly thing here. I'm going to start swapping out some regen items. And this could be my absolute downfall. We'll see. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, okay. So what's my regen at right now? 3.6. That's not that great. It's not the best. As long as it gets me to the camp, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh new, whoa, such bad. Now we're we're going back to vampirism. Okay, back and forth, back and forth. Um, that sword is so much better, though. Wow, 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 wee wow. Okay, um, that was a short-lived experimentation with uh, regen there. Vampirism's back on the menu. Ooh, these guys are actually doing a number on me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, there we go. I think we'll survive. There we go. That was the last tough thing. Um, 11 plus... Ooh, plus regen. I like that plus regen. Um, that was the regen sword I needed a while ago. Okay. So we should be able to make it to the camp now. But I think, yeah, we're definitely going to dip out after this. This will be our last... Hurrah. Just got to get through these guys. Yeah, we actually maxed out how much stable metal we can carry. We got 10 stable metal, which is freaking amazing. Okay, um, put the metal here. Boom. Awesome, and this was a good run. We maxed out our wood. We maxed out our stable metal. We got eight, so came close to maxing out our uh, food supply. So we're good. We're good. You guys ever heard the expression, someone swapped regen items one time and it results in death? Not this guy. I have no idea what you're talking about because that worked perfectly. All right, we just made out like bandits with uh, the stuff that we got there. Um, so we're still six metals away from making the smelter. Um, but let's go up here. The supply depot. Um, we are five metals away from getting the supply depot. Thank you, Tall's Tails, for that six-month resub. Hey, Rick, glad to make it to stream. Thanks, Tall's Tails. Drop some bears. Thanks for being here. Uh, we can make the refuge and unlock the rogue if we wanted to. Um, you know what? Let's do it. And let's do a rogue run, okay? Because I haven't spent a lot of time playing as the rogue. Uh, there's exile even an exile hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wins and gambling. Oh, wine and gambling. Sit down instead of picking yourself a poison to drink. That's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surrounding, they are familiar to me. Now we're talking. So did you make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have to... I have their knowledge and skills, and now I somehow literally have two aces up my sleeve. <laughs> and I think I stole someone's purse, too. Haha, <laughs> wait. 
That's my coin purse. You don't believe me. Ah, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know? Okay, cool. So we've unlocked the rogue. Um, we still haven't built a farm. Uh, probably should consider doing that. But let's do a run with the rogue, all right? Let's go out. Let's try and get some more metal. Because metal seems to be our limiting factor on most of these builds at the moment, all right? Let's do a rogue run. Uh, so if I go Expedition, and I don't have any new cards, right? Yes, we're going to keep the cards that we have. But now I can swap over to Rogue. All right. Enemies have 0 to 1 abilities. Class Rogue. Can receive trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchange them for equipment camp. Has 5% Vampirism. That's right. From the start, I have a little bit of Vampirism. 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Oh, that's great. So, 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with that same effect. Okay, so if I have, like, two items that have, I don't know, counter, then I'll get a 10% bonus to counter. That's, that's nice. That is nice. Okay. Um, oh, also, I think I have a boot slot, is what it's telling me? Okay. Okay.